Denver 7 is following a news alert. What has become a staple of the summer, cyclists racing through downtown Denver won't be happening this year. The USA Pro Challenge is taking a year break. Denver, 7, Russell, Denver 7's Russell Haythorne is following this developing story. And Russell, this could cost the state millions here. Yeah, Eric, even though the race itself was losing money, businesses were raking it in on race week. So this is a huge blow to cycling fans and businesses. For example, those along 17th Street here, which was one of one of, one of the main race routes through the city. The USA Pro Challenge started in 2011 and featured several different legs of the race through the mountains and along the front range. In 2011 alone, the race owners lost $10 million. Last year, they lost $2 million. But the race was a boom for local businesses along the race route. Marzik's Fine Deli in Denver, for one, made it an event every year with burgers and other special specialty items on the patio. Marzik's would also sell t-shirts and drinks and even bring in bleacher seating outside. We were actually astonished at the number of people that actually came out um, to support the event. Um, and being so close to downtown, which is where the finish line is, you know, we got a lot of people, you know, just people lining up and down the street and walking down. So race organizers say they are reorganizing and developing a new ownership group and they say they'll be back in 2017 and they say they might even expand outside of Colorado to other states in the country. We'll keep you posted for now. We're live in Denver. Russell Haythorn, Denver 7. We sure hope it gets bigger and better. Thanks, Russell. Last year, the race went hundreds of miles through our state, making stops in Steamboat, Abays in Copper, Aspen, Breckenridge, Fort Collins, and Denver. The route for this year hadn't yet been announced. About one million people will have to find other summer plans.